ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gears Feed. Today's video will purely focus on the remaining maps still to come in Gears 4. So if you're not already aware, the Gears 4 map content cycle ends in October, leaving us with 6 more maps to come. Now realistically, I'd expect 2 of these to be new maps and the rest to be remasters, judging by what we've had so far, with some being remakes of maps we already have in Gears 4. So, 4 maps are on their way with high potential of being remasters of some sort. If I failed to cover your favourite map, I apologise in advance, do call me out so I can repent my sins, or forever hold your peace. If I don't cover a certain map, I probably didn't deem it possible for Gears 4 or even worth talking about. Do bear in mind that this video is purely subjective, what I'm stating is my opinion and feedback I've gathered from various community members. I will briefly touch on the maps as there's a lot to cover, so don't expect any in-depth analytics to the core cool here. Now working our way up through past titles periodically, we're starting with Gears 1, the OG. So let's not forget that the Coalition brought us Gears Ultimate Edition, which means we played the original Gears maps all over again, which is fine, there were some great maps. The originals usually are, but it's safe to say that Gears 1 maps have been done to death a bit, right? I think we're all pretty much over them by now. Let's not forget Gridlock as well, which is a zit on your face that you can't seem to get rid of. Anything is possible, so this will be brief, as I'll be leaving out a fair few maps. First we have Mansion, an absolute classic, I think we can all agree. The atmosphere of that map, the dark vibes it radiated were excellent. It captured the true essence of Gears of War, and let's not forget that make or break fight for Boom. Could it work for Gears 4? Possibly. I deem it unlikely, it had a lot of very tight spaces, a fairly compact map that could clash with the speed of Gears 4, but I'm sure the Coalition could make it work. I'm also going to give a brief mention to Canals, another golden oldie that played wonderfully. We've seen it in various forms throughout the Gears of War timeline, just like Fuel Depot. Both fan favourites, but they've been overplayed and overused at this point, so I'm personally not too fussed about these, but let me know your thoughts. Right, Gears of War 2, host to some of the best maps we've seen in the franchise, and let's get that big elephant in the room out of the way, shall we? River. River, 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 right. The ongoing Sega that it is, so evidently fans are desperate to see River return. Some believe it was a flawed map, but you can't argue that it has plenty of fans. It also made for a really fun horde map. I'll never forget those 2008 Christmas Day memories. Octus did state on Reddit that the Coalition have tried some highly requested fan favourite maps with Gears 4. However, went on to state that some of them fundamentally do not work with the game. I have a feeling he was subtly referring to River there, and if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say we won't be getting River in Gears 4, which sucks, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Although I'm sure many of you would still be pretty angry about that. Wankers! Wankers! Gears 2 had some classics that actually haven't been remastered at all. They've been on the shelf for nearly 10 years now. We have Pavilion. I distinctly remember this map being a bugger on Wingman. Again, a lot of people enjoyed this map, but it hasn't seen the light of day since Gears 2. There's also Ruins, the Marmite map. Some of you loved it, some of you hated it. It could be fun with Gears 4 though, that'd certainly be interesting. Frag tags really did piss me off on that map. The frags really did blend in to the environment and were a pain to spot. And let's not forget Stasis. Actually, you know what, Let, let's forget Stasis. Octus did state that maps with dynamic weather effects will be coming back like we've seen with Wind Flare, so how about Hail? The Razor Hail that shot down from the sky with its sheer aggression, it made for a really fun map. Let's not forget the size of it too, could, could potentially make a great Gears 4 map actually, I'd honestly be incredibly excited if that were to be announced. I know a lot of you hated it, but I thought Hail overall was a solid Gears map. It was big as well in size and scale, it could be a really decent map for Gears 4, so I do hope to see that. Jacinto, another Gears 2 juggernaut amongst fans. Much like River, the cries for Jacinto have reached similar heights. We saw a slightly modified version brought back in Gears 3, so could we see it again? Some players believe it wouldn't work with Gears 4, and I tend to agree with them on that front, but if TC could make Jacinto work, then why not? I certainly know Grex would like that one. Gears 2 was also extremely generous with its DLC model, pumping out map after map. So maps like Grindyard, Underhill, Highway, and many more could also be a good fit for Gears 4. I know some of you really didn't like me attaching that Grindyard image with that tweet just for now. I apologise, but I don't apologise because I loved Grindyard. I think All Father's Garden would work especially well in Gears 4 in terms of scale. It was a pretty large map, right? It played pretty well too, so I'd definitely like to see that return. Another piece of Gears 2's phenomenal map creation. 
Also, Nowhere in Memorial, you can't forget those maps. They were a huge hit at the time, and I'm still seeing calls for them to return today. Gears of War 3, right, strong maps, and let's be honest, some real weak maps. Dare I mention what they were thinking with the likes of Overpass and Sandbar. Ugh. But Gears 3 did have some strong contenders amongst their map count. Thrashball, it wasn't too bad a map, although you could easily gain the upper hand if gained access to the room at the top and camped it out on the likes of Execution and Team Deathmatch. Now, I can see this being remade for Gears 4, as we haven't seen the likes of Thrashball Cole amongst Thrashball drone variants in Gears 4, so I could see like a massive Thrashball pack coming out, right? With a Thrashball character pack alongside the map. You could potentially see that next month. Trenches was a fluid map, another beta map for Gears 3 that saw some alterations to adjust how it played, although with the absence of the mortar and the one shot on Gears 4, it may prove tricky to be a successful Gears 4 map. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Gears fans also enjoyed Mercy. I hated it, but people seem to like it enough. There's been a fair few shouts for that wonderful map to return. Artillery had a storm brewing, so I could see that possibly working with a wind flare in Gears 4. It would certainly be an interesting addition. Octus did mention that we are going to be seeing more dynamic weather effect maps. We've only got six left, so it could be one of them. Someone mentioned to me how they'd love to see Depths 25 years on. That's actually a really cool idea. It would make for some interesting design approaches. Depths is actually a highly requested map, and from what I've gathered, most of my Twitter polls and questions to the community with regards to maps have seen plenty of shouts for Depths. And finally, we have Cove. I feel like the Coalition could do a lot with this map. Design-wise, it could make for some interesting approaches, maybe adjusting the muskiness, having a different take on it. It's a map that a fair few fans have requested recently, so I'd definitely keep an eye out for Cove as it's a slight possibility. Let's not forget that the Coalition do listen to fans and they are taking in feedback, so you never know. One last thing I'd like to mention is that we have had a few maps from Gears 4 redesigned with a different take on them, that being Impact Dark and Windfair Reclaimed. I think we could possibly see another version of Foundation or Harbour. They're both popular and original Gears 4 maps that are still played competitively today, so I'd keep an eye out for those. Let us know in the comments below what maps you'd like to see in Gears 4. Again, apologies if I missed any out. I know I did. Yes, I know I missed Mausoleum. I don't think it'd work personally. You can hate me below. So six maps left, four likely to be remasters. What are you expecting and hoping for? Thank you for watching Gears Feed, and I hope we'll see you next time.